What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is The Money Management, back here to bring you guys another market recap. This was a crazy week. As you guys can clearly see from here, and if you've not heard already, Silicon Valley Bank collapsed and it affected the market in various ways. Now, the primarily it affected the people who actually have money deposited in Silicon Valley Bank, so they were all scrambling to get their money out as soon as possible, but it also affected JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, IBM, amongst others. So as you can see from the two couple titles here, the collapse may lead to further declines in the prices of other banks. And also, one of their chiefs sold $3.6 million in shares before the failure. Now that is crazy. And with this stock, in fact, let's just pull up the stock. So there were rumors, I think Wednesday or Thursday, about what's happening with this bank before the news was actually announced, either Thursday or Friday. And then that's when all the drama happened. That's when the stock absolutely collapsed. It really is crazy. Look at that. Silicon Valley collapse is the largest US bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis. The largest bank failure in 15 years. Let's check it out. SVB. Absolutely disgusting. Look at that. What? Oh my. Look at that. Horrible. And the worst thing is, when this kind of stuff happens, people are scrambling to get their money out, but sometimes it's too little too late. And in this specific case, a lot of the companies who actually had their money with Silicon Valley Bank, in fact, most of the companies that had their money there were not insured because they deposited more than 250K. So if it, you deposit more than 250K in a bank, you're not FDIC insured, which is pretty much what happened here. So a lot of people just got screwed over badly. And there are other things that happened in the market this week. One thing is that we made money in the Discord of Tesla puts, Shopify puts, Spy puts, whether it was the 398s, the 393s, or the 390s. Shonoff, shout out Shonoff, had the Microsoft and the HD charts out there. There was still money to be made of different stocks. Like I said, not just puts, we made some money with the AMD calls as well. But here, as you see the S&P 500, it started off the week pretty good, very consistent. And then it just kind of started dropping and dropping, pushed up Thursday, and then continued dropping. Who knows why it dropped? I don't know why. There was NFP yesterday, so the job reports. And I mean, like I said, the S&P 500 dropping caused a lot of other stocks to drop. As I mentioned, we've got Tesla puts in the group. Tesla dropped. We'll look at the stock you know, soon enough. There is a gap down to be filled. Who knows if we will fill that? But let's just jump over to TradingView now to check out the charts. As always, if you guys are enjoying this video, please do drop a thumbs up. It is much appreciated. So what I'm going to start off with now is Apple stock, ticker symbol AAPL. As you guys know, $150 is the marked price point for Apple, whether it's above or below is kind of giving you an indication of what's likely to happen next. So you may hear people saying, oh, Apple is under 150, blah, blah, blah. You know, looking at puts, Apple's over 150. The market should be fine for now, that kind of stuff. $150 is usually the price point. We took a check out the daily chart, check out Apple, how it performed this week. Not a good week at all. Not a good week at all for Apple. Look at that. Nasty candle there. As I mentioned, Monday it started pretty steady, pushed up to start the week. We're above 150, sitting comfortably. Next day, that's when we started to drop. Wednesday kind of broke even in a way. We had a green day. And then Thursday, that's when it just dropped. Now, it looks like it's breaking below the moving averages. It's just hanging around here, just wicked off the 200 right there. But it looks like it's going to be breaking and $145.34 is my next level. So I'll be looking at puts down to around 145 this week. Next up, we've got to go to Tesla. Pick a symbol TSLA. Check out the chart of Tesla. I dropped it in the charting practice in my Discord. Go check that out. We know where Tesla's going. We know where Tesla's going, guys. We're going down to this level. 155. 155 is where Tesla's going. I mean, there might be some bumps along the way, as you see, some pushes up along the way, and then it's going to continue dropping. The EMA just crossed over. I mean, it couldn't break above the 200. It's still on the way down. This is what I like to see because when you swing puts, it makes it a lot easier. I did swing puts from Thursday to Friday. That was successful, but I'm saying the opportunity is not done. I think personally, I got in late on my puts. The opportunity is not done. 
Nothing interesting on the candles apart from they're just all red and they are downtrending. Just like another stock from this week's charts, Netflix. Do I need to say more? About 12 red days here with two green days in the middle. How many was it exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Exactly 12 red days. Good guess. On the way down, crossed over below the moving averages. Moving averages are both pointing down erratically. I don't see this reversing or finding support anytime soon. But if we were to look to see where it would find support, we still got another $12 drop, which is a lot. $12 drop, that's a 3 4%. So look out for that. And if it does manage to bounce there, then you can look at calls. But from the highs of 375 last month, just in one month, it's just tanked since then. And I do not think the blood is over. The bleeding is not done. Now we're going to jump over to Roblox. Shout out Bob in the Discord for this one. Roblox, click a symbol R B L X. Look at this interesting chart. We're kind of consolidating now. You've got, you can see my levels there. Which way do we break? Which way do we break from, from where we are right now? We're sitting just above all the moving averages. That is a bullish sign. But we are not really uptrending. Like I said, we're just consolidating. To be honest, this is more likely to break to the upside if you look at how it's panning out, but it could just as easily break to the downside and drop again back to the to below 40s. That is one to keep on your radar, but as always, stay indifferent, stay impartial until it actually does what it's going to do. Now jumping over to one of the stocks we traded this week and smacked on the head with the calls. In calls, actually, it was a good, it was a good shout out for AMD. Here we go. That was the swing. $86 was the price target and it went up to 87 something. It was pretty eventful. But look, that's where we're sitting at right now. We started to push up. Now we're pulling back to the moving average. Check on shorter time frames. Four hour. Looks like we're starting to drop down again. Check the hourly. Similar story. Like we're on our way down. Keep this on your radar. AMD is a stock that produces results whether it's the calls or the puts it's not one that's boring some say it has a mind of its own i say it just likes to make people money keep amd on your radar that's my level if it breaks above 83.59 off we go back up to the 86s 87s if we continue down trending then back to the daily chart let's see the level we could look for honestly it would be the, the moving averages so the 80 dollar 80 around then that's what you want to keep on your radar but as always, I'll be in the Discord to talk you through that one. Jumping over to the oil sector now, CVX, Energy, Chevron. Where's this guy going, guys? Rejected the moving average twice and pretty much just downtrending. That is another nice swing there. I like that because stocks that just get rejected the moving average constantly are giving you an entry. This is a nice swing trade. If you want to day trade it, you want to look at Shorter time frames. You want to look at the hourly. You want to look at 15 minute, 5 minute. Hourly, similar pattern, constantly. Downtrend, downtrend, small push up, downtrend. Keep this on your radar to see the following pattern occur a push up and a downtrend. That is what we're looking at for CVX. I'm going to jump over to Meta now, a stock I've not talked about in a while, but I hold shares of this stock. $159. It's kind of recovered over the last few months which is good to see, especially as a shareholder. That is what we want to see. As you can see, it has recovered since, you know, where it was when it was sitting around $135. But now we're sitting at a level where it looks like it's on the downtrend. We could pull back to support here around $175. If you look at the shorter time frames, four hour chart, again, that same level we're looking to pull back to, hourly chart, similar story, pushing up a little bit, but expect the pullbacks so just keep meta on your radar again i'm impartial i'd say puts down to around 174 dollars right now but as the market continues to bleed you can continue to trade stocks like apple tesla meta even the airlines let's say ual for example united this one is actually showing a little bit of strength okay not only hourly but if you look at the daily showed a bit of strength recently look at that and now it's pulling back as is expected. Stock stock can't just go up and up and up. They are going to pull back sometimes before they show more strength. This could be a buying point right here. Keep this on your radar. This could be a buying point to continue the uptrend. Let's see. 
Let's just check out the weekly chart. Aha, weekly chart is just showing bullish right now. This could be a buying point where we are right now. Pull back a little bit. Keep UAL on your radar as well. And speaking of stocks that are showing strength, the banks did kind of show a bit more strength yesterday, which is Friday. Look at that. Four hour chart. JP Morgan found a little bit of support at last after being a big loser this week. I mean, look at that. This week, it was a big loser. Look at that. This week, it was a big loser. All the way from 143 down to 133 before finding strength yesterday. That happened with a lot of banks. I think even uh, Charles Schwab as well, um, Western Alliance, some other stocks as well. So it has been an interesting week in the market. One thing to note, one thing to highlight, this is really important. Monday, there is an emergency meeting. Keep that on your radar. That is important because who knows what's going to happen Monday. Our stock's going to continue to bleed. Our stock's going to finally find a little bit of support and bounce back. I don't know. But this emergency meeting shall be interesting. I think it's called like a last minute meeting. And that Federal Reserve meeting or whatever closed board meeting is on Monday at 11.30 Eastern. So we'll see how the stocks open up in anticipation. If they push and then drop after the meeting or during the meeting, who knows? But let's just see what they talk about. Um, I think they're discussing rates again. And then um, you know, we'll see how it affects the market. Stocks could jump up. 3%, 4% just because of this emergency meeting. That's happened before. Stocks could also, which is what I expect, drop down and continue tanking because of the Federal Reserve could be announcing something. I don't know. It could be in regards to banks. Who knows? Let's see what subjects they talk about. Let's see how it affects the market. As always, all we can do is just trade our trade. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, please do share these videos with your friends if you do enjoy them. It doesn't cost you anything to drop a quick comment, drop a thumbs up. It does help me in a great way. It helps with the algorithm. And uh, as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the red button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. That one will, again, help me with the algorithm, help me in regards to everything that I do on this YouTube platform. And please do check out my social media. We've got Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at The Wealth Prince. So check that one out. And then you've got me here on the YouTube. And lastly but not least, come and check out the Discord, the Real Trading Academy, and the Stock Option Starter Pack. Both of those links are in the description below. We'd love to have you in the Discord. Come and learn with us, see the callouts, live trade with us, chat with us, all the kind of stuff you want from people who are trading stocks. Thanks a lot for watching today's video. Have a great Saturday. I've got money to making, you've got money to making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace. Game over.